Hey everybody, Matt here with Big Red Liquors, and today I've got this new arrival, um, the already notorious pre-release of the Crown Royal Bourbon Mash. Um, so this is a Canadian whiskey made by Diageo Crown Royal. Um, the controversy, real, just to boil it down to its essence, was contention over the word bourbon uh, and the TTB actually, which approves all of the labels for alcohol in the United States, actually approved this cola, approved this label, and uh, then had to say, Diageo was getting ready to do a huge launch of this, which is happening now. Cases were already shipped to states, as in the case of this here in Indiana. Long story short, basically they've got a year uh, to sell the product, but then bourbon is going to have to come off at least the front of the label, I think. Uh, for them to continue selling it. So uh, just like a lot of things, um, Absolute Oak is a good example. Uh, bourbon is selling, so let's make vodka into bourbon. Um, you know, uh, bourbon is a huge, hot, you know, double-digit growth category, so let's take, uh, let's take that and run with it. So this is their bourbon mash. Now, the dirty little secret is, or not really a secret, but Canadian whiskey uh, producers have been making uh, bourbon or bourbon-esque mashes, bourbon-esque whiskeys for many, many years, mainly as blending components. So they'll mix it with uh, lots of other whiskeys because uh, it'll add a depth of flavor or a little bit of oak spice, a little bit of vanilla. Um, uh, but it's made exactly like bourbon, but it's made in Canada, so it's not bourbon. Anyway, uh, the long story short is Canadians know how to make bourbon. Um, and that's essentially what they've done here, combining new oak with a portion of used oak. So in that way, it's a lot like early times, actually. Um, so on the nose, a lot of graham cracker, a lot of yellow fruit. Uh, smells nothing like regular Crown Royal, in my opinion. A little bit more spice. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, it's really reminiscent of early times, uh, and I like early times. Mm. Pillow soft vanilla, creamy mouthfeel, mm. definitely complexity much more spice wood driven obviously um you know just your regular crown royal blends tend to be kind of fruit bombs like tropical fruit this is nothing like that it's got red fruit um, um it's got it's got kind of a, a plum a little bit of an orchard fruit to it yeah really nice nice wood spice um yeah, it's, it's got, it's 80 proof, so it's really soft, too, on the palate. I don't know, maybe they could have bumped the proof up a little bit. But really interesting experiment. I think it speaks to the fact that Canadians have been making great whiskey. They make a version of bourbon that goes into most of their whiskeys. Um, and so, you know, whether this is a, a cynical marketing ploy or whatever, the truth is in the bottle. So um, I would definitely... I would definitely put this up there with one of my more favorite uh, crown releases over the last few years and definitely worth uh, worth checking out. And if you if you if you believe in the hype, uh, this label will be gone uh, once once this is here, it will be no more. So uh, it's, it's probably not too much of a collector's edition since there's thousands of cases that have already shipped. Uh, but either way, I think it's worth a shot. Cheers.